Colonel Ujjar Singh Thapa, who succeeded in defeating the British. Ujjar Singh Thapa was the eldest son of Muktiar Vimson Thapa's brother, Nayan Singh Thapa. Ujjar Singh Thapa was born as the eldest son of Kazi Nayan Singh Thapa and Rana Kumari Thapa in the year 1795 AD or 1852 Bikram Sampath. His mother was a daughter of Mool Kazi Ranjit Pandi. His ancestor Kazi Virvadra Thapa fought the Battle of Kirtipur and the Battle of Nuakot during the unification of Nepal. His siblings were Muktiar Mathur Singh Thapa, King Ranabadur Saha's queen Lalit Tripura Sundari and Zangabadur Rana's mother Ganesh Kumari. Ujjar Singh's father, grandfather, great-grandfather as well as all of his family dedicated themselves to Nepal's unification campaign. Ujjar Singh Thapa's father Nayan Singh Thapa died in 1806 AD when he was only 9 to 10 years old. He was supervised by Bemsan Thapa. General Bemsan Thapa sent his brother Nayan Singh Thapa's son Colonel Ujjar Singh Thapa for the security of Palpa. Ujjar Singh Thapa was only 20 years old when he was stationed in Palpa. At that time, the then English ruler, East India Company, which was ruling India, was also keeping an eye on Nepal. The East India Company needed fertile land for trade routes to China and tea cultivation. The road to China and the fertile land for tea cultivation were within the borders of Nepal. The East India Company government understood that Nepal would not give these too easily. After the merger of Palpa Kingdom with Nepal, a dispute started with the British regarding the collection of land revenue. During King Ranabadur Sa's time, Palpa Kingdom was merged with Nepal, but the British also claimed Butwal and Shivras under Palpa's kingdom as their own. In this matter, in 1871 to 1872 became Sambat, a war broke out between Nepal and the British. The desire of the East India Company was to seize Palpa and separate West Nepal from the capital and take possession of the arable land of the Tarai. The inner intention of the East India Company was to capture its trade route from Butwal, Palpa, Kathmandu to China. The British planned to invade West Nepal under the leadership of Akhtor, capture Garhwal through Deuradun under the leadership of Jilevspi, capture Palpa through Butwal under the leadership of General Ud, and capture Makwanpur region under the leadership of General Marli. To fight the British army equipped with modern weapons, 2,000 troops under the leadership of Kazi Bakhtawar Singh Thapa and 4,000 troops under the leadership of Colonel Ranveer Singh Thapa was deployed from Nepal to protect the Tarai province of Vijaypur region. Balavadra Kuwar, Bam Saha, Ranjur Thapa and Bhakti Thapa were deployed under the leadership of Barakazi Amar Singh Thapa along with 3,000 troops for the security of the Far West. 3,000 troops were deployed under the leadership of Colonel Ujjir Singh Thapa for the security of Palpa area. Ujjir Singh's army had only one cannon, some guns and local weapons. There, the British had a force of about 4,000 arms with modern weapons. Among the four places attacked by the British, Palpa was on the second list from the east. Special preparations were made for Palpa because of the suspicion that the British would make Palpa their first target. Ujjar Singh built a fort for security. He wanted to defeat the British by building many forts at various places. The British declared war on October 1814 AD. Ujjar Singh Thapa was given 3,000 troops. British General Ud thought to bring Nepali army down in the Tarai and destroy the Nepalese army with cannons. But Ujjar Singh did not let his army go down. Next year, in 1815 AD, Ud reached Kusumghat and built Kalanga. Fierce war with the British in Jitgari happened twice in 1871 and 1872 Bikram This war was led by Colonel Ujjar Singh Thapa on behalf of Nepal and John Sullivan Ud on behalf of the British. In both wars, the British were defeated even though there was a huge loss of life on both sides. Although Bhakti Thapa, Balavadra Kuwar and Amar Singh Thapa did the work of fighting with the British, only Ujjar Singh Thapa succeeded in defeating the British and protecting the motherland through his tactics. About 7 kilometers from Jet Gari, there was a Nuakot fort on the hill and another Kate fort about 8 kilometers away. Jet Gari was the main bridge connecting hills with Madhis. Both these forts were built by Ujjar Singh Thapa. He distributed his 3,000 troops in these forts and succeeded in winning the war 
not only by force but also by using deceitful diplomacy. His war strategy was different from others. He had adopted the strategy of keeping his troops in the hollows and ridges of the mountains and using natural weapons from high places to suit them. He wanted to prolong the war as long as possible and make it a long-term people's war. It was not a small thing for the Nepalese army to fight with homemade weapons in front of the advanced weapons of the East India Company. British troops fought for money while Ujjar Singh Thapa's army fought to save the country. During the attack of Jit Gari, 350 Nepalese chased the British away when the British approached the fort. During the war, there were battles between the two armies at many places, but only the army led by Ujjar Singh Thapa defeated the British army in the Battle of Jit Gari. This incident is a very glorious incident in the military history of Nepal. The British could not take even an inch of land in the place where Colonel Ujjar Singh Thapa was stationed. Ujjar Singh Thapa's greatest contribution to the nation was defeating the British in this war. Therefore, the Battle of Jit Gari is considered to be the most important and unforgettable in the history of Nepal. Ujjar Singh Thapa's intellectual war skills and courageous leadership were the reason why the Nepalese army defeated the British in a long war of five months despite having weak weapons and less military power. Jit Gari Fort in Butwal, which has a glorious history for all Nepal and Nepalese, is the only historical fort that Nepal won in the war with the British. After Ujjar Singh's guerrilla warfare, the British were forced to make a treaty. Unfortunately, between the government of Nepal and the East India Company, Sugauli Treaty was signed on 1872 Bikram Sambat. Nepal lost a lot of territory from this treaty, but fortunately it did not have to surrender to the British and hand over Nepal to the East India Company. Nepal succeeded in getting the same Butwal and Shiraz area for which the British had started the war. This achievement belongs to Ujjir Singh Thapa. Ujjir Singh Thapa had faith in religion, love for culture and loyalty to the nation. Due to his faith in religion, when he went to war with the British, he asked for the gift of power from Tan Sen's Bhagwati and vowed that if he won the war, he would build an artistic temple of Goddess Bhagwati and set up an idol of Astadhatu and hold Bhagwati Sindhur Zatra every year. According to this vow, after winning the war, he built a grand temple of Ranu Ujjeshwari Bhagwati in Palpal's Tansen Bazaar and started the tradition of Delhi worship and Sindhur Zatra of Bhagwati every year on the day of Badra Krishna Janmashtami. After the end of the war, Ujjir Singh built a pagoda-style Ranu Ujjeshwari temple in the middle of Tansen Bazaar and offered a gajur equal to his height and installed an 18 armed goddesses statue with a silver canopy. Ranu Ujjeshwari was a name after Ujjir Singh and his wife Rana Kumari. The temple built by Ujjar Singh Thapa was destroyed in 1935 AD. After that, when the temple was renovated, only two floors were built instead of three floors. Even after the Nepal-British War, Ujjar Singh Thapa was kept as a station in Palpa. In 1879 Bikram Sambat, Colonel Ujjar Singh Thapa is also seen as a skilled administrator by compiling a book called Jungi and Civil Status Restriction. The book, composed by Colonel Ujjar Singh Thapa, is divided into six chapters. In the first chapter, there are things that the boss of any office should pay attention to when working and hiring employees. Secondly, there are important things that the boss should pay attention to when recruiting soldiers. In the third chapter, there are things that should be punished if the soldiers of the platoon do not abide by the rules and discipline. And in the fourth, there are things that the chief of the court should pay attention to. In the fifth and sixth paragraph, what kind of punishment should be given to the criminal who commit what kind of crimes and what should be paid special attention by authorities while punishing them are also written. This book, which is a pure manuscript, clearly reflects the military, civil and judicial sectors of that time. From that book, it is proved that Colonel Ujjar Singh Thapa was very experienced, fully trained and interested in reading, giving fair justice honest and far-sighted. It is understood that Ujjar Singh Thapa died at a young age due to malaria. Ujjar Singh Thapa died at the age of 29 in Kathmandu Aryagat in 1824 AD or 1881 Pikram Sambat. After the death of Colonel Ujjar Singh Thapa, his wife Rana Kumari went sati along with his dead body. After the completion of the 11th day of death, Colonel Ujjar Singh Thapa's eldest daughter Jagdivya Suri was born. 
Colonel Uzir Singh Thapa's son, Sherjan Bahadur Thapa, was adopted by General Vimsen Thapa on Sunday, Fagun 18, 1881, Bikram Sambat, as his own son. Thank you.